Hey everyone and welcome to Skill Capped. My name is Dr. Zora and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down one of the biggest battles in Valorant and that is the classic versus the ghost in pistol rounds. Undoubtedly the two most common weapons used during the pistol round, it can be hard to figure out which one we should be using. We've seen it tossed around all the time. One day a player decides to use the classic, the next they decide to use the ghost, there's no consistency to it and that's why we're bringing this video to y'all so we can break up that confusion. This guy is going to highlight the pros and cons of both the classic and the ghost along with more specific details in the game that will help you know exactly which pistol you should be going for for those pesky pistol rounds. So without further ado, let's jump right into the action. Going right into our question of the day for y'all, which pistol do you believe is the best to use during the pistol round? This is essentially the question we're going to answer for y'all today, but we're curious what your initial thoughts are. Make sure to pause the video right now to comment your pistol of choice and then make sure to edit it if necessary if your opinion changes. First up, let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison between the Classic and the Ghost. When looking at the numbers, they actually are more similar than you would think. Let's go over the differences first though, and we're going to start off with damage. Within 0 to 30 meters, the Classic will deal 78 damage to the head, 26 damage to the body, and 22 damage to the legs. This translates to 2 headshots, 5 body shots, or 6 leg shots to deal over 125 damage onto a player during the pistol round. These numbers are important as 125 health is the maximum health a player will have during the pistol round. Damage does fall off at longer ranges though, with the Classic only dealing 66 headshot, 22 body, and 18 legs beyond 30 meters. The good news is two headshots will still kill, but landing body and leg shots at longer ranges are going to be much more punishing, as you'll have to nearly unload your entire clip to kill someone. Now onto the Ghost. The Ghost's damage is much more impressive than the Classic and for good reason since it costs 500 credits and the Classic is free. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's better than the Classic which we'll discuss in just a moment. The Ghost deals a whopping 105 damage headshot at 0 to 30 meters, 30 damage at the body, and 25 damage at the legs. The 105 headshot is undeniably the most significant statistic on here. If a player doesn't purchase light armor during a round, the Ghost is capable of killing them in one shot, where the Classic cannot do this regardless of what the enemy purchases. From there, the damage is still better than the classic, but not by much of a margin in the grand scheme of things. Even though the ghost does more body damage, it still takes 5 bullets like the classic does to kill a light armored enemy. The leeway with the ghost though is that leg shots will also take 5 bullets. Plus if an enemy is damaged up, the extra damage of the ghost can save you a bullet or two to get the kill versus when you're on the classic. Like the classic though, the ghost does have damage drop off at longer ranges where it becomes nearly the same as the classic with the exception of significantly more headshot damage. Along with that, the ghost also has some other statistics that help it out. It has a magazine size of 15 which is 3 more than the classic so you have more forgiveness with the ghost if you were to miss some shots. Not only that, but the first shot spread is lower in the ghost than the classic, 0.5 0.3 versus 0.4, making it more accurate overall. Both the Classic and the Ghost are rocking a 6.75 firing rate, 5.73 run speed, and 0.75 equip speed. Most importantly out of these 3 stats is the firing rate. With both weapons firing at the same rate, the weapon with the most damage is going to come up on top, which is the Ghost. Speaking of coming up on top, if you want to constantly top frag on the scoreboard and dominate your enemies, then go to skillcap.com to unlock our hyper improvement system that will teach you everything you need to blast through the rankings of Valorant. The link will be provided in the description below. Statistically, there's no doubt that the ghost comes out on top, but let's take a deeper look as things aren't actually all that clear when we're talking about pistol rounds specifically. Now let's look at the recoil first. The ghost and classic have fairly low recoils and are fairly similar to one another. The ghost has a bit more of a vertical jump to it, while the classic recoil goes more horizontally. This means that with the ghost, if you're going to fire at full speed, you're going to want to pull down a little more, while the classic, you're going to want to stay more level with the enemy. However, with both pistols, we don't recommend trying to click as fast as possible in most scenarios because of this recoil. You can definitely do so at extremely close ranges since the recoil won't affect you as much there, but at medium to long ranges such as 15 meters or greater, you want to wait for the recoil to reset before firing again. This takes about a half second to do and you will shoot slower but the significant accuracy boost is well worth it. If we slow things down just a smidge, our accuracy becomes nearly perfect. This is how you're going to want to shoot with the classic and the ghost in most scenarios, so really the recoil doesn't play too much of a factor when we want to know which weapon is the best. Statistically so far the ghost seems superior on pistol rounds, but now let's get to the nitty gritty details. So what makes it hard to determine whether to keep the classic or get a ghost on pistol Pistol rounds is economy. In the pistol round, you're only granted 800 credits. If you stick to the classic, you'll have the full 800 credits to purchase other items such as light armor and abilities or just pure abilities. If you purchase the ghost, you'll have a superior weapon but you will be left with only 300 credits. You won't be able to purchase light armor for extra survivability, plus you won't be able to purchase as many abilities. This is essentially the big question we need to ask ourselves in the pistol round. Do I want more raw fragment power from the ghost or do I want to play more health and abilities that will better help me outplay an enemy instead of straight up out aiming them. 
to help answer that question, let's look into agents first as they play the biggest factor to what we want to purchase. As a general rule of thumb, most duelists don't need many abilities during the pistol round. This is in part due to the fact that they want to be aggressive and be first contact onto a site so they don't have much time to use abilities in general. Most duelists can do well without much abilities such as Jet who really only needs one updraft and a few smokes to make an outplay while still having the high power of a ghost by her side. Phoenix, Reyna, and Yoru really only need one flash to make an effective play so a ghost purchase would be great on them. However, if you do play these agents in a more supportive passive manner, then having a classic and grabbing light armor in an extra flash or wall can be great to help your team defend or attack a site. And lastly, Raze really only needs her boomba onto the pistol round unless you have some crazy double satchel plays in your back pocket. So getting a ghost would be perfect for extra kill potential with her while still having the most important ability. Outside of duelists is when things get a little more tricky. The other agents tend to have more useful abilities to help win a round. For example, Sage's slow orbs and walls are insane for blocking off choke points and slowing down enemy pushes. Omen Paranoia is currently the most powerful blind in the game and is a must get. Breach and Sky's flashes are also incredibly annoying to deal with. These are just a few examples, but having a bunch of abilities purchased with these agents can give you more of an edge than having better weaponry. As a general rule of thumb, we recommend purchasing light armor and abilities with controllers, sentinels, and initiators since they are so useful for winning rounds. The exception here is Sova who really only needs an owl drone for the pistol round. Unless you have learned insane double shock dart lineups on them, you won't really need those for the pistol round and having raw fragging power from the ghost tends to be much more beneficial. With the agents out of the way, let's get into the maps and how they can contribute to whether you keep the classic or grab a ghost. On larger maps like Breeze and Icebox, you're going to want to opt more for the ghost. Reason being is that with larger maps, you're going to have a higher likelihood of getting into long range encounters. These encounters really favor the ghost as it does more damage long range and has better accuracy versus the classic which has more spread, less bullets, and less accuracy. This is the one situation that trumps your agent pick. Regardless of how useful your agent abilities are, it's going to be hard to use them properly at longer ranges and then following up with a classic. The ghost is going to be the better choice here for most scenarios. On bind, haven, and split, the maps are much smaller and as such, both the classic and the ghost have good potential to shine. In these maps, agent selection is going to be more important and from there is about what position you're trying to play on the map. If you're trying to play aggressive and up close and personal, the classic is going to be the better choice, especially with how powerful the burst fire is where you can jump around like crazy while straight up one-shotting an opponent. If you plan to play more passively and find yourself in more medium to close range engagements, such as those beyond 20 meters, the ghost is going to be the better pick due to having more bullets, greater accuracy, and more damage. Alright, so to summarize whether you should get the classic or ghost on pistol rounds, you really want to consider the agent you selected, what map you're playing on as well as your positioning and playstyle. Make sure to leave a comment on which pistol you prefer to use on pistol rounds and let us know if this guide changed your mind. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get more premium guides just like this one with one goal in mind, helping you become a better player. We here at Skillcap want to thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next. I'm Dr. Zora and good luck out there.